A dark night looks beautiful when it is lit by moonlight, doesn't it? The sun, the moon and the earth attract one another by a natural force called the force of gravity or gravitational force. This force of attraction between two bodies depends upon the distance between them. It means closer the two bodies, greater is the force of attraction. Surface of the Moon The surface of the Moon Earth's only natural satellite has many craters, plains, mountains, and valleys. Scientists believe these were formed around 3.5 to 4.5 billion years ago. It does not have light of its own but reflects the light it receives from the sun. The moon is surrounded by a vacuum and lacks an atmosphere. It has no liquid water on its surface. The surface temperatures on the moon are extreme. All these conditions on the moon possibly do not support life. The absence of air on the lunar surface makes the moon a dry, lifeless and very quiet place. As sound cannot travel in the absence of air or any medium. Tides The combined effect of the gravitational force of the sun and the moon causes the water in the oceans to rise in certain regions of the earth and fall in other regions. Sea water comes with a force to the shore as its level rises during a high tide. On the other hand, during a low tide, it recedes from the shore, exposing many rocks at the shore. A high tide is formed when the water on the side of the earth facing the moon is pulled towards the moon. Another high tide is formed on the opposite side of the earth, which occurs due to the earth's movement. The water level in the region between the two high tides is low. This is known as low tide. Shadows We have learnt that the moon is visible from the earth because the moon reflects the sun's light. Let us understand more about how shadows are formed on Earth. Shadows are dark shapes of an opaque object or a body that comes between a source of light and the surface on which the shadow falls. Shadows are always formed in the direction opposite to the source of light. How are shadows formed? Shadows are formed because light travels in a straight line. An opaque object does not allow light to pass through. This forms an imprint of that object on a surface opposite to light source. The farther the light source the longer is the shadow made by the object. We observe that the smallest shadow is formed when the sun is exactly overhead. A 
shadow is always a two-dimensional imprint of the object. Eclipse An eclipse is a natural phenomenon that gives a unique opportunity to study and understand the effect of light in nature. It occurs due to the positions and the shadows of the earth, the moon and the sun with respect to one another. Lunar Eclipse A lunar eclipse occurs when the earth comes in between the sun and the moon. During a lunar eclipse, the earth casts its shadow on the moon. Consequently, either the entire visible surface of the moon appears dark, that is, total lunar eclipse, or a part of it appears dark, that is, partial lunar eclipse. A lunar eclipse takes place only on a full moon night, but not on every full moon night. A total lunar eclipse can last for a duration of around 1 hour and 45 minutes. At the end of the eclipse, the moon becomes visible as it receives sunlight. Solar Eclipse A solar eclipse occurs when the moon comes in between the sun and the earth. As a result, the moon blocks the sun's light from falling on certain regions of the earth. For the people in these regions, the sun appears to be blocked by the moon for some time. This is called a solar eclipse. During the solar eclipse, we are unable to see the sun in the sky and the day appears a little dark for some time. A solar eclipse can last for around 7 minutes and 31 seconds. The solar eclipse occurs only on a new moon day, but not on every new moon day. Artificial Satellites and Their Importance A heavenly body that orbits the Earth or any other planet in space is called a satellite. Satellites may be natural like the moon or man-made. Artificial satellites are launched in space for various purposes. Weather satellites orbit the Earth and give us useful information about the atmosphere. They capture images of the clouds, ill effects of pollution, sand and dust storms, boundaries of ocean currents, etc., which help greatly in weather forecasts and so on. One of the most important uses of satellites is communication. Communication satellites help in sending messages across countries. Television and radio programs can be relayed thousands of miles away because of artificial satellites. Talking on the phone, surfing the internet and watching live cricket matches have become possible only because of communication satellites. Remote sensing satellites are also artificial satellites which give us valuable information about the Earth and its water bodies. 
they are particularly helpful in advising farmers miners and fishermen